Hello everybody. So today, finally, after nearly five or six years of using my iPhone 6 Plus, I thought I deserve to get myself a iPhone 13 Pro Max. And that's what I did. Now I'm going to open it up, do an unboxing, and uh, followed by initial setup to help you guys out in case you decide to get this iPhone. All right, let's start taking this thing apart or opening it up. We are not taking it apart, we are opening it up. We are taking the box apart. <laughs> okay, so this is how it comes. This is supposedly the rare bluish color, which I don't really care about the color, to be honest. All I want is a working iPhone. And uh, it comes like this, as you see, and you open it by peeling these little tabs. There are two tabs here and here that you open. When you get it from Apple, it's already unlocked unless you ask for them to activate it for a specific uh, company. Any company should work. Now, let's pull this up and see what we have. Look at that. Look at that. And there's a little tab right here that you pull up in order to get it in one piece. This thing is huge. It's really huge. Uh, now, believe it or not, they just give you a lightning USB-C cable lightning to USB-C cable not impressive because you would expect because this is a wireless charging you would expect to get a wireless charger there is no wireless charger that's all you get and of course the good old SIM card ejecting tool which you always lose that's something you always lose and the Apple logo should you decide to use a third party case, you can use the Apple logo. Okay, now let's see what we have here. So that was the un unboxing was pretty simple, nothing to it. It's very straightforward. And this comes off of course. And voila. Look what we have. A brand new Apple iPhone 13. And by the way, notice when I took this off, right here it tells you this is the ringer on off, this is the volume up, this is a volume down, and this is the power. And this is the charger. Despite the fact that this has wireless charging, you could still charge it with the cable. Obviously that cable is also used for syncing it. Now what we are going to do is we are going to set this aside and we are going to put the SIM card from the good old friend of mine that lasted me five, six years into this one. And as if things weren't bad enough, I had to pay extra for the otter box that will cover, uh, I mean, uh, house this guy because this otter box case wouldn't. See it's the difference? It's even bigger, by the way. Uh, slightly bigger. Let me see if the holder is the same size. Mm, the holder is not the same size. So you cannot even use this. You have to use this holder. I mean uh, the new case for the holder. Yeah. So holder is also a different size. Remember that for the otter box. All right. Let's first put the SIM card. And oh, I I didn't mean to turn this on. When I put this like that, I press the power switch. I didn't mean to turn it on. Okay, let's take this out. Let's see.
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take out the SIM card from this puppy. Okay, so now I took out the SIM card from this one. By the way, the case wasn't as bad as I thought it would be for being so old. Um, so I set this aside and I'm going to use this. This is the little thing that I had for years. And eject the little SIM thingy. Hopefully they are the same size. And yeah, they are the same size. But it goes in the other way. There you go. So I put in my SIM SIM card and I'm gonna put this one back into the old unit and let's fire the puppy up I'm gonna put it inside the case in case you want to know how to put your phone inside the uh, otter box case you have to first remove the rubber cover or plastic whatever you want to call it and it feels like rubber and then this comes off this is like snap-in type of thing you put your iPhone inside and you cover it up with this And now all the buttons are unreachable because they're deep. However, when you put this, then it will be reachable because that one has rubbers, uh, pieces of rubber that penetrates inside. You have to like put it all the way in and make sure it goes into the edges OtterBox is one of the most, uh, I would say, strong cases. One of the strongest cases. And uh, there you go. Ready to go. Now I'm going to turn it on. So, let's see what it will ask me and what I will need to do. I'm going to zoom so you can see what's up. Language, English, country United States. What does that bring your current iPhone near this iPhone? Oh, okay, why not? Bring the current iPhone. Why not? So, I have to do this. Okay. So basically most of the settings transferred from this to that. Oh, enter the password of your other iPhone. Okay, I'm going to do it off the camera. Let's see. So now it's trying to activate, it's going to take a few minutes, this and that. You have to be patient. Information is being transferred, as you can see. Face ID. Okay, so it wants to know my ugly face. Son of a gun. Okay, let's do this, this on camera.
let's do the face ID on camera continue so I have to get my my glasses out so it's things they're studying me it's telling me to move my head Okay, now what should I do? F face ID scan complete. So face ID scan complete. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. So face ID is complete. Continue. It's setting up my Apple ID. Everything is being transferred from this phone. Okay, now the battery on this puppy must be charged. Yeah, it is. Agree? You have to agree. You don't have a choice. Okay, it says make this your new iPhone. Continue. What? Continue. It's adding the card. Apple card. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, Apple card is all metal. It's not like plastic. Let me show you. There are no numbers on it. Nothing. It's all metal. Interesting. Continue. Improve dictation. Share your audio recording. Mm. So it's telling me to say a few words and, and uh, let's see how many, if it was too many, I'm not going to do it. Keep our iPhone nearby and connect it to power. Oh, my iPhone wasn't connected to power. Let me connect the puppy to power. Oh yeah, the sucker must have, must be connected to power. So, the transfer will take about two hours. So that's a lot of transferring. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so this took so long that I grew beard. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so I went to bed. It took four or five hours all night. So this is the next day, and this is what I have. I have duplicates of the same iPhone, exactly the same. Everything copied, basically. Everything transferred over. And uh, there you go. Duplicate iPhones. Even the data, for example, pictures, like uh, like videos that uh, on YouTube that I chose my music everything transferred nothing is left behind that's how good it is and in case you didn't know that uh, the iCloud when you buy an iPhone 13 Apple will give you free iCloud for your data transfer uh, even if you have this was a 256 gig uh, this one is one terabyte so the entire 256 gig transferred over and you know something did you just see that notification comes on the, both of them so I have to like disable and uninstall the, the apps here because I get the same notification on both phones simultaneously uh, which is weird you know like you would be getting a text message on both you can answer from either this phone or that phone like 
like clone type of thing even though it isn't clone it's two different sim cards here okay so i hope uh, this was easy to understand how to upgrade your existing iphone to an iphone 13 uh, or 13 pro max in my case and all that thanks for watching please make sure to like and subscribe